Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, April the 11th, 2024, and I am coming before you with a prophetic insight. Uh, Father God spoke to me this morning, and I was dealing with some things uh, concerning the Word of God yesterday and how I was so excited in my spirit about um, this bug that came on yesterday. But what I want to talk about today is the word that he spoke during my prayer time uh, today. And this video will not be long. I also want to thank each and every new subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. And all of those that were, uh, the few that were able to uh, bless me, I, I to support uh, me this month, I just give you uh, thanks. Thank you so much. I'm still needing more support. So if those that can give, please give. Um, your b blessings will come back to you a hundredfold. But let's get to what Father God has spoken uh, this morning. And what I, uh, what I received yesterday that just came as if a light bulb came on. Um, and I put that word back up because I wasn't, okay, here we go. This is something that he said to me this morning. And like I said, I made some notes because I think this is something that we all are going through right now. And as the enemy is fighting many of us because of this, I just kind of wanted to share, uh, what Father God spoke and how this will affect us and how we can be blessed behind it and so he said this morning he says keep your focus all things are about to pass my moving to bring you into place has nothing to do with your feelings it's all about perception what do you perceive and i'm just going to stop there because the the rest of the word he was actually speaking some things into my life but I want to talk about perception. I think this is very important that we understand in order to receive uh, the things that he's giving to many of us in this season, the open doors, the opportunities through open doors, and how the wealth transfer is being uh, dispersed uh, throughout uh, the world to many of us believers. does not matter what country you're from and uh, uh, what your position is. If you are to be building in this season, if you are one that he's given blueprints, he's given the key of David to. We've talked about so many of these things throughout the videos. Uh, and for you that are new, uh, this channel is about direction and instructions and how uh, Yahweh is bringing each and every one of us into a place to build, to secure the bride of Yahweh and to, uh, during the times of great um, turmoil that's coming up, but I don't want to get stuck on there. So what I want to talk about is the enemy fighting uh, for us to see. Uh, and what I mean by that, he is fighting us to see um, what Father God is doing in our lives right now. And it's perception. And perception is the ability to see here or become aware of something through the senses. And we all know that the senses are touch, sight, sound, smell, and taste. But what I want to talk about is sight. And I want to go uh, to scripture, and I have my phone here because it's, um, well, I don't know how convenient it is, but I want to go to Matthew 26. And uh, 53 through 54. Should have already had this pulled up. Give me a second. And uh, I want to talk about Matthew 26, 53 through 54 because... Yesterday, during my time just spending with the Lord, this thought came across my mind because we are the sons of God here in the earth. But this is what Yahweh said. He says, do you 
Do you think I cannot call upon my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels? And we know that passage of scripture because it talks about when the Jews came to take uh, Yeshua into custody. And uh, uh, Apostle Peter went to smite one of the, um, you know, one of the, the officers. And Yahweh told him to put his sword up because he said, do you think I cannot call upon my father? And he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels. And on yesterday when I was thinking about that we have that disposal to call up on <laughs> 12 legions of angels. Do we have the authority to speak into the heavens and call upon the Father to release aid to us at any given time? This is perception. To perceive that we have that authority, to perceive that we're in that position, to perceive that what that is, is for us too. This is the, 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 the perception that the enemy is fighting us right now to have. The ability to see, sight. In 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, uh, the word says, we live by faith and not by sight. Even though the enemy is fighting us over sight, over perception, it is perceiving something in our heart that we have not seen yet manifest. It's the perception of things that are coming to us. As we are right there at that door and we're ready to open it and our uh, foot steps across the threshold. <laughs> we're there. We're right there. And the enemy is fighting us to perceive that we're right there. Doubt and disbelief comes to visit, comes to um, try to prick at us, a thorn in our flesh, doubt and disbelief. And the Lord is saying, it's not about our feelings. It's not about what we feel. It's not about how we cannot uh, uh, understand why are we still fighting, why we can't see what's going on, why we have not received the promises yet is because of perception. We have not perceived that it's already ours. We haven't perceived that what that is, is already ours. It just has not manifest in the natural for, for touch, for the touch of our senses. It hasn't come to that part yet. But the perception of us perceiving this thing is what the enemy is fighting to keep us from knowing that it's there in our heart, that we have perceived it in our heart and that it is yet ours. Moses in the burning bush in Exodus 3, uh, chapter 3, verse 1 through 17, talks about how um, Moses was called into the mountains uh, to pray. And while he was there, he was able to uh, experience the burning bush. And as he looked up on this bush in a flame, his perception was that it was on fire. But how did it become on fire right before his very eyes? He has perceived that it's burning, but he has not seen how or where did the fire come from. He didn't see the process of how the bush was able to become ablaze, 
but he received uh, and perceived that it was aflamed. So his perception was there. He'd seen it with his very own eyes. He didn't see how it happened or where that came from, but the perception of the sight of it was there. Father God is trying to get us to see what he has for us, what that thing is that he has specifically given each and every one of us. He wants us to look past what we cannot see and perceive in our hearts. It's not about feelings. Many of us are walking in feelings right now of doubt and disbelief. And that is a natural instinct to not be able to see something tangible that you perceive to be there, but it's not. And so the enemy uses that and he fights our perception through doubt and disbelief. And so I come today to allow you to understand and to see just as Yah, just as Yahweh saw, just as y'all Y'all saw that he says, can, can I not call upon my father? And he would release to me 12 legions of angels. That's perception. He already knows the power and the authority that Yah, that, that the most high God has placed in the heart of Yah. He knows his perception is full grown. He walks into in the perception and have perceived the knowledge and wisdom and, and power and essence of God. It's already in his heart. So his perception of all things in this world, everything has been full grown. It is a part of his nature now. And so as Yahweh had, had walked during that time, his perception of the world had increased as uh, Father God trained him to understand his position in the earth. Now he has perceived who he is and how he is to respond to everything in the world, everything around him. Touch, sight, sound, smell, and taste has now become a, a, alive in him. And so the fullness of the perception has become uh, grown or full or whole in him. So now he has uh, the senses um, of touch, sight, sound, smell, and taste to perceive the heart and glory and power and authority of Yah, of Father God, of the Most High God into his heart. He and and now um Father God is asking us to perceive to receive the perception of everything that he is doing in the earth that he will do through us. We have to have the perception of that in our heart. To perceive it in our heart. And once we have received it, we can see it. That's perception. It is something that was that's not tangible yet, but we perceive that it is there. It is a, a, a thing. We perceive it. And so the what I want to say is that as we are all waiting on the promises of God, we're waiting on those open doors of opportunities to build. We have received the, the blueprint. We have the uh, with the knowledge of what Father God is calling for each and every one of us to do. We're ready to build. We're ready to um, bring out the blueprints and begin to put our hands at work at whatever that is that Father God has called uh, each and every one of us to build and to be a part of and to uh, be the solution, uh, the uh, um, uh the conduit to so many different things. Now it's time for us to not walk in doubt and disbelief. 
that the enemy is using to take away our perception, to perceive in our heart what Father Yah has already said that is ours, that we have the sight to see, even though it has not manifest as Yeshua saw. Had, could I not call upon my father? And he released to me 12 legions of angels. Because he perceived in his heart everything about his father. Everything about um, the power and the glory and the essence, the nature of God has been received in the heart. So now we fight against doubt and disbelief. And we set in motion to perceive everything the Father God has said that is ours. This is just a word of encouragement. Fight against doubt and disbelief. Realize that Father God has called us all to those doors of opened opportunity that we shall build and be able to be a conduit to millions of people around the world that many will not have um, that place as us being um, children of God, as us being sons in the earth, each and every one of us, that we're able to be used and utilized of uh, the Most High to save many people in these days and years to come. That we have perceived in our hearts and know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are uh, that we are that they're ours that we're walking into these areas that we have the key of David we have given the blueprints the key will turn the door we see uh, what he's called us to build and what we are to be a part of that we're conduits for so many souls in this in the years to come getting a little tongue tied perception perceive Come against doubt and disbelief in your mind and perceive in your heart everything the Father God has already said that is ours. And that is the word for today. As we wait on the wealth transfer in order to build, in order to uh, um, take our blueprints and put them into action. That is the word for today is perception. In the name of Yeshua, have a blessed day.